Good morning, Jess. It's a beautiful day. The sun is kind of shining. And today I'm going to get my second COVID vaccine. I'm going to the same place I went to before, so hopefully it won't be too crazy, but we'll see how it goes. First though, I get to go get my hair cut. It's kind of a mess right now, but I'm excited to uh, go get it cut and I really want to try something new this time. So we'll see how it goes. And now I'm at the hair salon. I'm at this sweet little place in Granville. It's called Ultra Hair. I've been here a few times. So say goodbye to the old hair and let's do this. Ta-da! What do you think? I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of a, a plummy maroon color. And I've been dreaming about this color for... I think years, uh, for a long time. There's been a lot of Pinteresting going on and a lot of stuff, so I'm really excited about it. And of course I got my hair cut, which means it's so much lighter and that's really nice, so yay! Okay, I'm now back at the apartments, but now I have to leave again because it's time to go get my vaccine. Now I'm going to the DeVos place and the first time I went, it was a little hairy trying to figure out how to get into the parking garage and everything. But now that I've done it once, hopefully it won't be as crazy. <laughs> All right, we made it. Here we are in the DeVos parking garage and I'm about to go inside. For the first dose, this was the most stressful part of the process. So I think now we should be smooth sailing. And we did it. I realized the video isn't that exciting to watch because I didn't get any footage of inside, but it went really well. There was one little computer glitch, but once I got the attention of somebody who was helping, they had a lot of people there helping, uh, they got it all cleared up and I got my vaccine. I am just so impressed by the operation that they have going on here. There's tons of people, tons of volunteers, a lot of people there to just direct you or um, help you out if you need help. And you basically just go inside the door, get your temperature taken, and then you go from person to person to person who tells you where to go and what to do. And it's very easy. And then you uh, get your papers, you get your shot, and then you just sit in an area for 15 minutes to just make sure that you're fine and then you get to go. And yeah, it's all super laid out, super easy. They've got tons of people getting vaccinated today, so that's really awesome. I know I only really qualified because of the job that I do, and so I am really, really grateful for the opportunity to get vaccinated, and now I'm 100% there. It's so great. And I know that things aren't really going to change too much until we get a, a big enough percentage of people vaccinated, but there is hope. There's hope around the corner, and this is just one step closer to that. Side note, I'm noticing that my hair looks really interesting under these kind of very yellow lights, and I'm kind of digging it. I do really like this color. It looks really good, and I've been thinking about it for ages. You know, Jess. <laughs> So now I'm going to go home and kick back. Hopefully the side effects won't be too bad. I've heard that sometimes with the second dose they can be a little worse. Um, but I've also heard some people saying they just kind of had some aches and pains and it wasn't too bad. So we'll see how it goes. I was told to drink a lot of water and make sure I move my arm around. So I will have to make sure I do that and hopefully it won't be too bad. Either way. It'll be over soon and then I'll be good to go. So let's go back home. Home again, home again. I realized that I've basically filmed this whole vlog in the car, so I figured I may as well just kind of wrap it up here. Like I said, I'm so glad I was able to do that. It was really pretty easy, pretty hassle-free. There were a lot of people working together to make that happen for everybody. And I didn't even have to pay for parking. They have someone at the at the gate who gives you a ticket and then says you're all good and then you just give them your ticket at the end and you don't even have to pay for parking so that's really nice and it's all right there 
And they even have um, people in golf carts in the parking lot for if you maybe can't walk that far to get to the gate. They have a golf cart. They can pick you up. So it's really, really nice. And they even had these cool little buttons. So that's even an upgrade from the sticker. So that's pretty cool. I had a few more thoughts that I wanted to say. I know a lot of people have questions and worries and concerns about this vaccine. And I know a lot of people don't want to get it, which I definitely understand. It's a scary thing. It's if it's something you don't really understand or it seems like it might have been rushed or something like that. You know, it people are are scared. It makes sense. But I just want to say what I know right now. I have learned a little bit about this vaccine. Not a lot, but a little bit. And it is really, really interesting if you want to look it up. The COVID vaccine that we have right now is called an mRNA vaccine. The Pfizer and the Moderna are both this kind of vaccine. And what it is, is it's not like old vaccines that we've had before. It's not putting a piece of the COVID virus in you like every other vaccine has in the past, but it is, the way I've heard it explained is it's sort of like a, a message to your body to tell them what to look for. And this type of vaccine has been worked on and has been in development for a long time. So yes, when COVID hit, ever since like a year ago, they have started to work on the COVID-specific vaccine. But this type of vaccine, the mRNA vaccine, they've been working on for decades. So, yes, they've technically only been working on this vaccine for a year, but it wasn't just slapped together. Um, they've technically been working on this for a long, long time. And the other thing that I think about with this, now this isn't maybe like sound scientific medical advice, but what I think about with this is so many people worked hard to make this vaccine happen. Lots of people worked really hard for a long time. Lots of people worked to test it and get it approved. And I think if it was one person who had to make the decision, yes, this is safe, yes, this is effective, and yes, it's approved, then, you know, it might be a little harder to trust that one person to make the decision for the rest of the country. But that's not the case. We have a lot of people, a lot of people who know what they're doing, working on this, making sure that it is both safe and effective. And the other thing is that we have so many people who deeply need this to work. We need it. We need this pandemic to end. We need people to get back to their jobs. We need the risk of the virus spreading to go away. And because of how many people are working on this, because of how deeply we need it, how high the stakes are, it's a no-brainer for me. I'm... I'm just grateful that I was in one of the groups that was able to get it this early, and I just really, really hope that we can get this vaccine distributed as quick as possible, and, you know, if you don't want to get it, that's your decision completely, just like a lot of other vaccines, um, but I don't really know. I don't have a but, <laughs> I guess, but uh, there I go again. <laughs> All I know is that this is the only thing we have that is going to end this pandemic. And especially if you don't want to wear a mask, you don't want to keep distancing, you don't want businesses to be closed. This is it. And we just really need everybody to work together on this, okay? <laughs> I think that's it. That's the vlog. Uh, Jess, that's all I've got for you. I hope you enjoy my car vlog that I've made for you. I love you so, so much. I hope you get your other half of the vaccine soon and that it does, it goes well for you. And I will see you later.